This is the light dependent stage of photosynthesis. Um, this takes place in the thylakoid membrane. Um, I'll start from here. So when light strikes a photosystem to the energy associated with light travels down the photosystem reaches to the PPRC or chlorophyll A. From there, two electrons become excited from the magnesium atom in the portion ring and they are accepted by an electron acceptor. The electrons are then passed down a series of electron acceptors. Um, no, a series. The electrons are then passed down a series of electron carriers losing energy along the way. The energy is used to pump hydrogen ions across the thylakoid me membrane. This builds up a high concentration of hydrogen ions in the thylakoid lumen, and so by diffusion, the hydrogen ions will diffuse through ATP synthase and back into the stroma. As the hydrogen ions pass through ATP synthase, this turns the motor unit, generating a proton motor force, which is used to phosphorylate um, ADP, uh, producing ATP. Um, the movement of hydrogen ions through ATP synthase is called chemiosmosis. Anywho, um, so anyway, light strikes photosystem one, the energy associated with light the energy associated with light travels down the first system, reaches to chlorophyll A. The two electrons become excited from the magnesium atom in the porphyrin ring, and they are then accepted by uh, an electron acceptor. In this case, it's called ferrodoxin. The electrons are passed on to an enzyme called NADP reductase, which makes NADP. Then, two hydrogen ions... Um, they, they are used to reduce NADP, forming reduced NADP. Um, also, uh, there is an enzyme associated with photosystem 2, only associated with photosystem 2, not with photosystem 1. The role of water here is so that it can be broken down. This is, the enzyme undergoes something called photolysis or photolysis. photolysis. Um, this is basically the breakdown of water using light energy. So you form four hydrogen, you form four hydrogen ions, four electrons, and an oxygen molecule. All of this is non-cyclic photophosphorylation. The products are an oxygen molecule, an ATP, and a reduced NADP molecule. In cyclic photophosphorylation, only, only ATP is produced, and that's because only photosystem 1 is used, not photosystem 2, not this, the electron transport chain, only photosystem 1. So the build-up, so all of the stuff with the hydrogen ions, that still happens. And your substrate level phosphorylation still takes place. Um... Yeah, this is the light-dependent stage of photosynthesis.